and I welcome you to today's lesson. Today I'm going to be talking about the secrets of throwing a powerful punch, the key to throwing a successful punch. We're going to be going over that in today's video. You're not going to want to miss out. But before I get started, do me a favor. If you haven't already, hit that subscribe button down there. One inch punch that bell notification and give the videos a thumbs up if you can. I greatly appreciate it. A quick thumbs up. Show me you're enjoying these videos, so I will keep them coming. Now today I'm going to be talking about punching power, the secrets, the key to throwing a powerful punch. Always, all too often, students will come up to me, somebody at some point will come up to me and be like, what's the secret to throwing a good punch? There has to be a secret. And there is, and I'm going to share that with you right now. Now today is going to be a pretty simple video, but these are going to be really key things you need to do if you want to become a good puncher. Now the number one secret, the number one key thing you need to do if you want to become a good puncher, you got to practice your punching. You have to practice your punching. You're not going to just learn a technique and then be a good puncher. You have to throw a lot of punches in the air working on your form, on heavy bags, speed bags, whatever it is, the more punching you get in, the better puncher you'll be. Now, it's not just practicing throwing your punch, but it's understanding the proper body mechanics behind throwing a good punch. And that's what I'm gonna break down for you today. The key form for throwing a really powerful punch, a really good punch. Now, what most people think is, your brain's kind of in your fist and you're like, okay, I want to be a good puncher and everything's real tight and you're really tight. You think about everything being in these fists. We got to drop that for a second. It's your entire body. It's your entire body. And I'll try to get you good close up angles of the feet and everything that's going on, but it's really your entire body. So, and it's also not being tense. So there's numerous factors that go into throwing a good punch. So let me just talk about tension real quick. All too often, everybody will be like, I wanna hit somebody and this fist gets real tight, their muscles in their arm get real tight, and they boom, and they throw this big, stiff, hard punch. But what happens is this muscle is fighting this muscle, and when it gets there, it turns into more of a push. That's a big problem. You're not looking to push somebody, you're looking to punch and explode through. So everything is loose and relaxed, and at the point of contact, boom, everything tightens as you're hitting your target. So that's one key thing. You have to eliminate that tension in your body and be relaxed. And at the point of target, boom, everything tightens as you're going through. So relaxing is crucial and understanding when to tighten up right as you're contacting and practicing that is essential. Another thing is distancing. And I've spoke about this before, range and distancing. If this is your target, everybody punches here and they punch right at their target and they kind of pull away, right? You want to punch through your target. So when you're punching, you're punching through the target. If I'm hitting somebody in their nose, I want to take their nose and I want to push it so it sticks out through the back of their head. I want to punch all the way through the target. If I'm punching at the camera here, I'm coming through, boom, and I'm punching all the way through that camera, all the way through my target. Same with the kick. So when you're punching or kicking something, you're not kicking at it. You're not punching at it. You're punching through it. So relaxing, boom, tightening up right at the target and going all the way through the target are really key things that you have to consider and you have to practice when you're punching. Now let's break down this punching form. So I'm a southpaw, so I'm gonna be in my right forward stance. Of course you should practice from both sides, both positions, but you know, here's our right neutral, my right forward. And what I'm gonna do is drop my hands for a second, put my hands on my hips. Now, why am I doing this? We're punching, right? Yes, we're punching, but I don't want you to think from your fists down. I want you to think from the ground up, right? So you're sitting in your stance, you're sinking in your stance, and what you're doing is you're pushing off of the ground, right? You're pushing off of the ground and your hip is rotating. You see a baseball player, it's all this hip rotation, crack. A golfer, it's all this hip rotation. Somebody playing tennis, 
It's all in the hips, right? You've heard that saying before, it's all in the hips. It's a very true saying, it's all in the hips. So what I'm doing here now is I'm just gonna put my hands in this position and I just wanna just kinda, for now, everybody can do this. If you wanna take a mirror, get in your left forward stance. Most of you probably aren't south paws, so that'll work good. I'll be your mirror image. And we're just rotating the hip a little bit. And it's almost like you should just feel this hip, like you're punching with your hip and it's coming through with the hip. And right now, you don't have to do anything hard. We're just doing a little bit of a twisting motion with our hip and feeling our hip rotate, all right? Now that's the hip, but now let's move down to the feet because like I said, it's from the ground up. You're pushing off of the ground. You know, somebody that's really tall and they're punching down, they're punching like this way down where somebody that's shorter punching a taller opponent is coming up through the ground and I think we all know a wonderful example of an incredible puncher and you would see explode from the ground, boom, Mike Tyson, right? Whenever you saw him go look at one of his knockout reels, you see him punch, boom, he's pushing up off the ground, hitting, he's not punching down here, he's coming, boom, rotating his hip and you see that perfect body mechanic. So here I am in my right neutral, right forward stance. And now what I'm gonna do is when I just look at my feet here, I'm going to the ball here and the heel here, and I'm gonna kind of exaggerate by lifting my toes. So I'm on the ball of this foot and the heel of this foot. So when I rotate, we're just gonna go ball, heel. Front foot, lead foot, I'm feeling it in the ball. Rear foot, I'm sinking into that heel. And then I come back. So it's just this rotation. So the first thing you should really be doing is working on that rotation of feeling like you're punching here with your hip and it's rotating ball heel, ball heel. And this is clearly for the jab, right? When we're throwing our lead punch out, bam, bam. So what you're doing is once again, my rotation is ball here heel here and I'm exaggerating that as I'm bringing this up so you can really see coming down on the heel and on the ball of my lead foot. So I sink in my stance here, boom. And when I, what I want you to do when you're practicing, I don't want you to think once again here, just let your punch come out, let your arm come out, keep your hand up, let your lead hand come out as your hip turns and feel that weight distribution of 50-50, lead foot, ball, rear foot, heel, and then come back. One, back, two, back, boom, boom. Don't think top heavy, don't think with your hand just let your body move your arm out. Don't worry about having anything. Keep your arm just relaxed for now. And just focus on your body, your form from the ground up. Boom. Boom. So when we're doing a like combination, one, two, what I'm doing is I'm transferring my weight the opposite. Now I'm gonna be heel on my lead and ball on my rear. So if I was just looking here, I'm going one, lead foot has that ball, rear foot heel. And then when I switch, now this hip is fully cocked. It's like a loaded gun. And then when I switch, I'm transferring and I'm pushing off this hip. Boom. So now I'm coming in the ball and heel here, right? And then you can just practice that real slow. One, and you can just keep working that jab. I highly recommend just working that for a while, get the feel of that, and then going one, two. And notice I'm always keeping my hands up. I'm not going one, two, right? Hands up, one, two, with the hip, punching with that hip. Boom, it's like my hip, bah, 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 that hip is punching here. And then now I'm rotating here as I come through and that hip is getting the power in. And you wanna practice this slow and you wanna not worry about 
how hard you're hitting something. Work on that form. You could sit there, I hope I'm in camera here, and just be like, bah, bah, boom, 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 boom. So that's the proper body mechanics of your punching, how to throw a good punch. Keep pushing off of the ground, getting that proper hip rotation, transforming your weight from the ball to the heel, keeping your hands up, and almost the punch just comes out natural. If I'm here and I just turn, then my arm extends. When I turn back this way, my arm kind of extends out. So you don't need to overthink in your hands. You really need to have everything, your thought process, and the lower part of your body for now. Bam, 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 boom, boom. Really working that combination and getting that good switching in place, that good hip rotation. So that is the key to throwing a good punch. A, having great form. B, relaxing and then exploding through your target. And C, really punching through your target, not at your target. I hope you found today's lesson very helpful. Practice, 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 and then practice some more, and you will be a good puncher. Thank you for joining me today. Have a great day.